but we're back. I love the music to this game. I, you love everything about this game. That's also true. Uh, sorry for the delay it's in all videos. So true. I know you've all been champing at the bit. Champing at it. Champing. Champ. We actually sew. <clears throat> Um, we sew uh, <laughs> things. This is the third time we've been recording this playthrough, this video. Yeah, all of our reactions are going to be super unscripted and exciting. Line. <laughs> Line. Were you uh, just making sure it was recording? Yeah, just because I don't want to do this again. Oh boy. Uh, so the first time... Uh, we actually had our friends here. We recorded it, and it was pretty decent. It went pretty well. Um, and the mic was on omnidirectional mode, trying new or things. Or also known as mute. <laughs> mute. <laughs> so nothing recorded. Um, and then the second time, people got real rowdy. Real snacky. Yeah. It, Everybody got real snacky. Really munchy on yep. that microphone. And I will post that edit audio probably. Um, and you'll probably see it right around when I'm posting this, but it is at your own risk. You can listen to all the mouth sounds. Oh, so much chewing. I know that's kind of gross. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> it's a problem with friends plus free snacks. Friends plus snacks plus drinking. Yeah. Beforehand. Yeah. Some during. Yep. Wasn't me. Wasn't me either. I was beforehand, but. Not me. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh... You don't partake of the, uh, <laughs> the devil's, the de devil's liquid? <laughs> oh, sometimes. <laughs> Just on occasion. But what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get the key to Glorix, which you will probably be reminded that this is exactly what I've been doing, is trying to get the key to Glorix and win this election, and I am doing a fantastic job. <laughs> Real good driving. So... I will preface this the same way that I prefaced the other one, which I was just getting back from the bars, and I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, man, me and Tim have to record. I should play. I should do my <laughs> game recording. And it shows. <laughs> the thing is, I I don't know if you hadn't told me that. I don't know that I would have noticed <laughs> anything different about your driving. That's I, promising. I think I would have just been like, wow, you're jumping around a lot. You know, <laughs> I don't think I would have thought, you must have been drinking. And driving. Oh, no. Don't drink and drive, kids. Don't. Absolutely do not drink and drive. To all the kids that are watching our videos. You don't have to be a kid to not drink and drive. Nobody, including oh, you're right, kids, you're right. don't drink and drive. You're right. Kids shouldn't even be drinking or driving. <laughs> no. They're don't, kids. Don't drink or drive, kids. Yeah. Don't ever drive. It's very dangerous. Especially the driving. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 Pick one activity. Drinking or driving. But don't do both. Or either. <laughs> Just don't do this, anything. Just sit in your rooms and watch our videos. That's right. And if you run out of videos, why don't you watch them again? Just wait. Or wait, wait quietly <laughs> while staring at that spot on your wall. A week or so. <laughs> Hopefully it's a week. This one has been two weeks. Yeah. Live vicariously through us. Because we live exciting, Very exciting, exciting lives. lives. The thing, okay, so the thing about what you're doing right now in the game is fine, but... It, it, to us, I think it seems a lot longer. Like, you've been doing this for a lot longer since we've watched this video three times. Yes. And the next one twice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very. So it seems like we've done a lot more videos than uh, Spooktergeist will think. Oh, yeah. Spooktergeist, thanks for the second fan art. It's pretty cool. Dude, it's awesome. I appreciate it. Tim, yeah, man, Tim doesn't great. appreciate nothing. I, I do. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm the one who tweeted at him. It's true. You run the Twitter account. I do. You yeah. are the Twitter account. <laughs> I de facto <laughs> am the tweeter. Man, I all I'm doing is retrying, and I'm a lot more uh, a lot more willing to restart the race in this in this round. Well, especially because you know that you're just going to do this race until you do well. So if you start off bad, there's no harm in restarting. That's true. So it's just there's no penalty. It'll be cool when I do actually get this race done. It'll be like a achievement. Thing is, if you didn't just restart every time, you could maybe earn some more beeves and get a faster car. That sounds like someone who has a strategy about this game. Or a tougher car with that you could get a vector so you could get gorb gears and shoot at people instead of just straight in front of you. You're giving me ideas about playing this game more than I want to play this game. <laughs> Plus, isn't it more exciting if I get it with just this little tiny nothing? I mean, it'll be, it'll be a good accomplishment for sure. Yeah, especially for you. 
Yeah. Because I'm terrible at video games, according to the show. According to the show, <laughs> Matt is the worst at video games. I've never beaten anything. <laughs> I'm just the worst. So bad. That's why we're going co-op next time. Oh, yeah. We might do a co-op game. We uh, did two co-op games. I was thinking of the other co-op game that we were talking about doing. Oh, no. Tease. Which one? Portal. Oh, I forgot about, about that. Man, so many co-op... Portal oppor- 2. So many co-opportunities. Oh. Oh, snap. Uh, we could actually... So we were talking... To, this is going to be the shopping us talk. We were talking about <laughs> doing it PC, PC to PC. Well, we got to keep it PC. Well, yes. But uh, I have a 360 or a PS3, and I'm getting that capture card. Why don't we just play it side screen, screen on screen? Can we do that for Portal? Yeah. Sweet. Portal 2. Yeah, we can do that for Portal for sure. Yeah. I want to do... Uh, well, we also do it for Lost Vikings. Yes, absolutely. That I'm more excited about than any of the others because yeah, I'm going too. to uh, mod your system. And I awesome. Love doing it. You should post a video on our YouTube account of me modding of it. Of you modding it. I could do that. It's not that hard. There's RGB signal that comes out of the Genesis already. I just have to patch the cables. I have to patch the wire with a capacitor and a resistor, and it's all good. If it was so easy, why didn't they do it in the first place? Because it's more money. To do what? To add the extra traces. Oh, because what's it for? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. So, the Genesis, the yeah. one you have, yep. it can output S-Video. The Gen 3. The Gen 3 Genesis. But it doesn't output S-Video. No, it doesn't. It's but just that the... little connector has connections for S-Video, and it also has connections for RGB. Which oh, is they the... just didn't hook them up. They just didn't hook them up. And RGB is the best quality connection you can get out of it, and I have an RGB upscaler, so I can accept that signal, because it's 15 hertz. Signal. And what does it do now? Uh, it does just composite. Which is just right. the, the yellow video. Right. And that's really muddy and gross. Oh, and the RGB is when you have the, it's like super the three cables. Yep. For it. it's, but the, the one, there's I'm two. not a cable. There's RGB, knowledge. which is red, green, and blue. And then there's, it's co- called component, and there's that's like red, green. Blue go- and. Red, green, and blue, but those don't do three color separations. Those do like left and right and up and down, like yeah. sync signals. But it still produces a very good signal. Okay. They're just different standards. Component video came later. RGB was first. Okay. So, a lot of older systems have that have crap ability. So I don't know, really. I have a very tenuous grasp on what Matt's talking about because um, Matt's a big old dork. I just want to plug the cord in yeah. and see the picture. There's going to be about three boxes being plugged in when we record. It's going to be super sweet. We're yeah, gonna, it's going to be awesome. It's gonna be cool. Uh, we can actually probably do 60 frames per second, 1080p capture. It'll be awesome. You just said so many, <laughs> so many things. <laughs> so many numbers and, and acronyms all at once. It'll be cool for the people watching at home. If That's what I want to hear. <laughs> if they're using Google Chrome. But because, what if they're not? Well, they don't get 60 frames because Google or YouTube only works 60 frames on Chrome. And what's the other? 30. 30. 30 so. frames. So while you crap bags watching our videos 30 <laughs> frames per second, why don't you just get yourself some Google Chrome? It's free. Well, well, later, when we actually have a 60 frames per no, second. No, we've got bag. it right now. <laughs> no, we don't. My word is my bond. <laughs> These are all 30 frames a second. <laughs> and this game doesn't even run at 30 frames yeah, a second. Yeah, it does. It, it runs, runs at like, like 200. 24 frames a second or 25, something. 25,000. 25,000 frames a second. Frames per year. <laughs> it's really slow. I've measured things in frames per year. <laughs> That's how fast I that's think. How, that's how fast you drive. <laughs> yeah, it frames frames per per <laughs> how fast the world renders. You just shot straight up at us. Yeah, I know. Did this, you see, did all, all you watching at home <clears throat> have your 3D glasses? This <laughs> game's amazing. It's like it's coming right at me. That's one of my favorite parts from Friends. Ooh. It's when they go to a 3D movie and Joey's got his 3D glasses on and he's like, hey, look. And he's moving his hand towards his eyes. And he's like, it's coming right, it's like it's coming right at me. And then Chandler hits him in the face with his own hand. <laughs> Classic, Classic Chandler. Classic Chandler. Ms. Chandler Bong. <laughs> Chandler Bing. <laughs> nope, that was Family Guy. Yeah, that was Family <laughs> Guy. Um, yeah, I've been watching Friends. Janice is annoying. Oh, Friends is great. We should have Tim and Matt watch Friends. Tim and Matt watch Friends and go, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much. Just do face cam. Yeah. Reaction cam for Friends. <laughs> <laughs> 
It would be the chiniest video. Oh, man. Million views. Wait, was this just the new video? Yeah, is this, this is your new video. Oh, this... All right, Cabe Cod. Remember Cabe Cod. Remember the Cabe Cod. The Ides of March. is today, by the way. It is. It it's is the, the day after Pi Day. I hope you all celebrate it. Eh. 3.14159. I had two pies and two pizzas, not alone, shared with friends. I had some of... I shared some cheesecake. That's... And we didn't even buy it in a circle. We bought it. We bought four pieces. <laughs> in a circle. Hey, you got that thing in a circle. <laughs> yeah. Does this come in a circle? <laughs> well, it was from a cheesecake factory. Mm. Mary and I went to a movie, and then we picked up some cheesecake slices and took them home to my mom and her boyfriend. He's cool. He's he's nice. He's cool. He's Santa Claus. He is Santa Claus. And he burns things. Oh man, that was cool. Super cool. He uh, no he one burned, knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, but he burned down some brush. Yeah, so he's got these big ornamental grass clumps in his yard, like those yeah. big ornamental grass plants. And he, every spring, you know, they went through the winter and there's just these dead husks, right? And they'll grow back, but he's got to clear those out. And so he just burns them with a torch, and they go up super fast, and it's super cool. And I'm gonna put that vine right here. Oh, we're gonna share that vine. Right here. You're watching it now. Well, now everyone knows my Vine account. No, I'm just going to put the video up. Well, Matt's going to put the video up. <laughs> no one will know your Vine account. All right. Just yeah, it's, it's not hard to find anyway, but... Everyone's going to see... <laughs> everyone's going to see him. <laughs> they will see Scott. His name is Scott <laughs> Stapp. Scott Stapp. Lead singer of Creed. Though, <laughs> he is such a quality gentleman. Which Okay, which which one? Scott, Scott Stapp. Stapp. Oh. Yeah, he's he's beckoning us with arms wide open. Arms wide open. <laughs> under the sunlight. <laughs> I was pretty into Creed when I was in high school, actually. That doesn't even surprise me. <laughs> I, uh, and I still think some of those songs are really good. Someone, I was listening to another like, Let's Play channel. And My they, Own Prison, super good. They were uh, talking about how My their theory is... Wrong. Every Creed song, you could just replace with the lyrics, Walk the monkey! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Walk the monkey is. No, that's just using those words. Oh, <laughs> You could just put that for all the lyrics. My favorite thing to watch on YouTube is that Creed shreds. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so funny. Gib a gab, or whatever. Gib a gab! Gib a gab. <laughs> they only put the sound where it's visible, it's so you hear like a tink, 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 tink. <laughs> 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 And there's only singing when the person's view is like it's so funny. Give a gab, give a gab. <laughs> and it's a, it's exactly what he sounds like. Oh, it it really is. His voice is very uh, unique, but Ow. easy to. Wow. And recreate. then so I was pretty into Creed, and then um, when Scott Sepp left Creed to go on his solo tour, <laughs> Creed found a new lead singer and then called themselves Alter Bridge. Yes. And I have that album also. Well, aren't you just? There's actually a really good song on that album called In Loving Memory. And I will not play that here. It's really good. You're not hearing it We're going to link right to now. it right now. Link. Plink. <laughs> that means you'd have to do the anote. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. But you said you were going to put the vine. Yeah, I'll put the vine. I'm not going to put the song link in. But while you're in there. What? You know. I'm not doing any annotations. I'm going to hard code that in the video. Oh, you're going to hard code it yeah. in the video. Just like a clip from it? Yeah, the vine is six seconds. It's a long... <laughs> Well, now there is the second one that doesn't have him in it. Yes, but that's that just one. the burning husk. All right, yeah, do what you want. The other one's cooler. He's it is cooler. He's faint flamethrower. <laughs> but Tim, yeah, we're rambling. Oh, we're rambling men. Well, it's because we've watched this video three times. Yeah, that's true. So, what are you doing for the viewer at home? Well, I'm on the cross in the last Moggy. Okay. And um. <laughs> oh, I'm collecting cert. That's what I was doing. So I was on Explo collecting cert. Um, is this the first video where I went to Explo? Yeah, man. That was exciting. So. We, we we glossed over it. Um, Explo is a boring world of sand and pyramids. Yeah, you were sinking a lot. Yeah, I get sucked down a lot. But anyway, I'm, I'm collecting cert, and uh, she's going to give me the key to Boozina. She's super hot. Boom. Maybe it's this this one. Let's see what she says. Look at her hypno no, it's only hypnotoad eyes. She is so pretty. Yeah. Look at those lips. Look at those luscious eyes. You think her lips are actually that shape, or are they just painted on her face? Uh, plastic surgery, for sure. Oh, yeah. She went under the knife. Yeah. Under Mac the knife. She nip-tucked it. Ooh. Nick, Nip-tuck had a super cool commercial. 
Yeah. With a giant drag cover of uh, that Chris Isaac song. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going back to Explo, and I'm going to get some cert, and I'm going to get the key to Buzina. And then the next video, I'm going to go to Buzina. Wow. So be ready for that. I'm already on the edge of my seat. We're already ready because we've already seen it, seen it. <laughs> we have seen both of them. Both. 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 Both of them. See, Expo is kind of boring, but... It's super desolate. Honestly, when I was first playing this, it was kind of a relief because I was expecting it to be another main world with like, oh, I have to do another thing where I don't... where they make me a slave and I have to transport a whole bunch of other garbage and then do some other race thing. It was nice that it was just, you know, this like nothing place. So let me ask you this. You got this like hot monster truck. Hot. <laughs> Why don't? Why are you doing what those stupid idiots in the caves tell you what to do? You could like drive over their faces. I could, but the game won't let me. <laughs> I was just wondering the motivation for the character in the game. Oh well, I don't know. They're like mercenaries, and you know, Merc's got to make money. Yeah, but you got like this sick car. Figured you're already good to go. That's true. Oh, I don't know. You know, I think with anything in life, if you just start killing people. Then everyone else is going to kill you. I guess that's true. The I'm pretty tough, but I can get ganged up on. The lesson is don't kill people. Yeah, just do what the weird worms tell you to yeah. do. Yeah, and if you're experiencing weird worms, uh, please consult a physician. Or like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, definitely do that first. I think Yeah. in an emergency... Any kind of emergency. Any kind of emergency, please like, comment, subscribe. Log on to YouTube, do our <laughs> video, and like, comment, subscribe. Even comment about what emergency you're having. Yeah, like, this hey. is this is a crucial moment. Yeah. And every second counts it's for crush. you to like, comment, and subscribe. This moment is crush. Crush. <laughs> 77 portions. All right, so still not enough. I need more. The great thing about the function 83 plus is I can just teleport. What That's a pretty cool calculator. The function <laughs> <laughs> I, It took me that pause to figure out what you meant. Yeah, man. I had the TI-89 Titanium. That's my go-to calculator. I think I had the TI-83+. plus. Yeah. A lot of people did. Um, the TI-89 did in a girls and stuff. TI-83 is a graphing calculator, though, right? I uh, guess. Yeah. yeah. I gave 80... it away to someone who was starting math ed. I ended up using it a lot in engineering school. Oh, and I it worked uh, swimmingly mm -hmm. for a lot of that stuff. I think I used the graphing function on my calculator like eight times. Um, I used it all the time. Yeah, I hardly yeah. used it. And I used MATLAB and that. And once I learned MATLAB, I'm Ugh. like, oh, man, I wish I just had mobile MATLAB all the time. I had to do MATLAB, and it was the worst. Oh, MATLAB's such a great program. The best program I ever used in my studies was Geometer Sketchpad. Never heard of it. Which is a really sweet... Um, it's like a drawing application, but it, it creates geometric shapes, like circles and tangents mm -hmm. and things. You can... You can connect where things point out and then you can expand or shrink the shape you make and it does all these calculations for you like you know seeking or whatever oh it's, that's cool it's really cool and you can so you can set up a triangle and it's kind of doing proofs like you can draw the thing you're writing a proof for that's the class i had to use it for was euclidean geometry so i had to do a bunch of proofs yeah that's so all geometry is is, is a lot of proofs crazy so yep. you, you you like make the shape and then you have to prove why and it helps you because Whatever you do, then it'll show all the calculations and the measurements and the degrees and stuff, and you can shrink it and expand it. You can move the points around, so you can change the shape That's pretty cool. of whatever figure is there, and so then it'll change the area or whatever, and it'll tell you what it is. I it's think awesome. that's pretty cool. It's really good for like high school-type math, mm -hmm. because it's, it's you, kind of simple stuff. Do you, te you teach 8th grade, right? <laughs> teacher, what? Well, I mean, in your dream. <laughs> what? In your dreams. What? This yeah, I am a I am a teacher. I teach eighth grade math. So, um, do you, do you keep up with how they teach in the high school and stuff? What they teach? Like, do I pay attention to what they teach? I mean, I, I, are you privy to that knowledge? Do you know? I mean, yeah, the standards are posted. Do they still do proofs in geometry? Yeah. In fact, one of the teachers at my school teaches an Excel geometry eighth grade geometry. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So we have a program that the kids are two years ahead. Okay. And so they do proofs. Yeah, because uh, I remember doing proofs, and they were talking about, like, phasing that out. The proofs I did in college were way more detailed. Oh, of course. It oh, was, yeah. That class was just like, hey, turn in a packet of writing. 
Yep. Every week. Oh, yeah. So every week saw me, 20 minutes before class started, furiously copying someone's proof in the hallway before I went into class. That's the, uh, that's the um, deceptive part about, like, college math courses, because it'd be like, I was in, like, differential equations, and it'd be like, all Diffy right. Q. Yeah, like, two problems, and it's like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like, four pages. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of that Hope video. you enjoyed our college math talk. We'll see you next time. <laughs> on, on the, the next, next time. time. We're going to do that every time. <laughs> on every time. On the next time, too. Part. <laughs>